Hey folks, how you doing? Captain Mark here, Kid, Kid Coach Chiefs Outdoors. Today's video, what's new offshore? Right here, Sterling's. Let's get to it. Just getting back from an offshore trip, and of course we have to clean up all our gear, right? Always, always take care of your gear, especially you put a lot of money into it. So hose them down, hang those bags up, let them dry, dry everything off, put them back in the bags, put them away. Don't store them on the boat, right? Get condensation on the boat, they go bad. All right, so just take care of your gear. That's, that's not what this video is about. Now that right there, ladies, is the little bonus. If you buy Sterling Tackle, it's certified by New Jersey Weights and Measures, all right? But today, the star of the show is what's new offshore for tuna fishing. All right, I gotta qualify this. I am not your big tuna fisherman. I am an inshore captain. I've been dabbling the last three years offshore, learning from the best people out there. Steve over at Sterling Tackle gives me a lot of guidance and we have a lot of local captains here. Fortunate, I've been blessed to have this channel where I have a lot of intel coming in from very good angles, very good tuna fishermen, and they tell me what to do, and I have a tendency to follow instructions very well, all right? So this is, I'm gonna put that down, Sterling's bags, money, really good quality. Mr. Kid was just talking about that today. New for Sterling here, all right? Why do I have this one? This is the dial tracker with a diamond on it. There's the dial tracker right there. All right, that's new. It says, I don't know if you can see that, but very sexy. It's, that's the new stuff right there. It's got the Sterling Tackle logo on it. They're going really sweet how they're doing their stuff. They really just their stuff is phenomenal. All right. But let me get to the bell of the ball. This is what I'm trying to get to today. Why I like to fish these. Captain Fred over at Andreas toyed this seminar, which I watched on YouTube, which I recommend everybody watch. All right. But it tells you how important it is to get these baits added out prop wash all right we run as he would call egg beaters on the back of that boat right there egg beaters being outboards and what happens is those outboards push a lot of white water into the back and it's not good for us we have a disadvantage from those guys who are running inboards which is under water and it's not putting as much turbulence and they have a lot more clean water than we do all right at least that's what i'm told with the egg beaters you want to get these babies away from the boat all right so a lot of guys what i'll do is i run the 36 inch wide trackers way out that's how it works for me and then i kick in to an 18 inch wide tracker on my outside spreads and what i'm doing with these dial trackers now is i'm pushing them back you can see as hunter brings in this tracker right now you're going to be seeing this coming right outside the white water wash why is because i'm able to now manipulate this dial tracker to send it back a quarter and kick it outside of that white wash all right that's what these things are deadly for phillips head screwdriver there are two on the preacher right now in that drawer why do i use them for the dial tracker but i also use them to brain the old freaking tuna all right put them into Walt Disneyland but that's it basically what the dial tracker is you want to use the dial tracker obviously give some force against it so you don't strip anything you're gonna screw it loose screw it loose that's gonna give you the opportunity now to tweak this however you want to do it tweak it both sides if you like to a full to a full or what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of tweak it just a hair then I'll what I'll do is I'll just lock that in you know boom I'll do a quarter on it push it in again give it some resistance all right, that bad boy's not moving, and that will push me right out into the white water. This right here will track to the starboard, all right? The starboard being the right side of the boat. And why is that? Because as the water is coming to it, it's hitting here and deflecting. So picture this. As the water hits it, it's going to be pushing out, all right? It's going to be pushing out, and that's it. Again, this is for beginners here. So just so you know that the less angle you push that on, the less of a push it's going to have. And it's going to put you, it's going to be able to give you the opportunity to I guess dial in. I don't think that's what they were. Maybe that's what they were. But dial tracker. It's going to give you the opportunity to manipulate that plane of rod and put it out wherever you want. But let's bring you back to the bell of the ball right here. Right there. That's sick. I didn't see these yet. Steve just sent these to me now. But this is pretty sick. These right here are the business end of that uh, rig. And these are what the new diamonds are. All right. So diamonds are forever players. All right. This is the diamond right here. So, of course, all the heavy... Oh, geez, that's what he does. All right, Inter very interesting. That right there, I'm telling you, I don't like I said, I don't have a massive amount of experience in this. I only have a couple years doing this stuff. But this right here is cherry vanilla, all right? And that's going to be followed up by our friend here. Now right, you got the little skirt with the acrylic head. And that's it. This thing is going to be ripping through that water column. I mean, that's going to be so sweet. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the diamond and stainless steel hook the thing is ridiculous like, like i always say it's like the masha stuff you look at these things and you get hooked that's how sharp these hooks are crimson cherry vanilla chafe guards mint uh 
this iridescent stuff is really going to be interesting for uh it's got i just i just i don't guess i know it's going to be killer all right there's a lot of guys out there crushing stuff on diamonds right now as a matter of fact let's do a couple pictures right now of a couple of recent diamond catches on oh look at that so nice right there look at that right there. that's just slick stuff right there i know it's not necessary but it's totally sick i gotta admit it that's new for 2023 uh check it out sterling taco right there all right Put a little memo in there that the kid sent you. Maybe Steve will give you a kick in the beans. Or maybe he'll do nothing. Dial track at 22 with diamonds. Hope this video helps. If you guys like this stuff, please comment below. Like. Please like it if you like it. If you don't like it, don't, don't like it. I'm not going to beat you up on it. But uh, consider subscribing. Forward this to a friend if they're in the market and they do some more show tuna fishing and they don't know about the Sterling Dial Tracker Diamond yet. All right. Thanks again for watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors. Until next time, we are right now working on a offshore trip. We just filmed yesterday. It's a biting Tyson. <laughs> Got some interesting catches in there, all right? Guess it's a motion. Until next time, thanks for watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors. Kid, he's got to go.